One of the great things about going to America was um, Netflix was different. Uh -huh. So I could actually watch stuff that I couldn't normally watch. You know how you can do that? With a VPN. No this VPN. episode is sponsored by Norby. I'm obviously not. No, it isn't. Obviously isn't. <laughs> you did not bad. Oh, no, I said that. Aye, sorry, you were saying. Aye, so I, I watched um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind because it was on um, uh, Netflix. On my American version of Netflix. Yeah. And I am... Um, I really like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and I wanted to watch all of it and I did. Over two weeks I watched a whole season of Jojo. I'm going to kind of copy you a wee bit and go for like wee toty wheels. Ooh, a lot of acceleration. Do you prefer acceleration over speed? No, I prefer speed. Mm. But I was just looking at the handling and the handling looked quite shocking. But then again, look at it. It's a pure pimp mobile. It's got like speakers at the back and all sorts. See, I thought it was better in grip before. Mm. See, maybe I just go oh, for the memes and better. I just go... Oh. I just have a pure dank mobile. Aye, something like that. Aye, something balanced, I'm going something balanced. Look at the handling, that is atrocious. A lot of weight, no grip. I bet gold, golden wind, I, I really... Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, we just did that. We did that one. Um, right up till the end. Moon Moon Meh was all this one. I thought the end was a bit meh. Mm -hmm. um, but from the get-go, I really liked the, the mafia idea. Yeah, I liked it. I think it was a good setup. And with the exception of one of the guys, um, I've really, I enjoyed pretty much everyone in the kind of crew. Mm -hmm. And it's Butcherati. In many ways, it's the Butcherati show. Mm. And there's a, there's a weird bit in the middle where, like, Butcherati's dead, but he's kind of not dead. Mm. I don't know if you remember that. I don't know if I saw the end of it, actually. You don't know if you saw the end? I don't. Because it's... I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Well, you, I you mean... Can, you, can say, you can say whatever. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's all about Diablo. So, I mean, he, um, he basically injects... Um, Golden Wind with the arrowhead and it gives him like the power to boost his stand. So Diablo kills a Polnarev who kind of pretty much comes and tells them and that's that's the whole point of the John Pierre Polnarev. Aye Polnarev. No, you better not. What would you mean? Polnarev better, better not die. Well no, he doesn't die, but his body gets transferred into a turtle. Okay, I'm alright with that then, because that they can fix that. Ah, you can body transfer. It doesn't matter, the whole universe has been reset anyway. Oh, crap, yeah, it has. So, I mean, Diablo, I mean, he, he just punches him with Golden Wind, the sort of upgrade, but Golden Wind Requiem, I want to say it's called. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he, he pretty much does some weird, like, time dilation thing where he has to constantly keep reliving his own death. Right. No matter what he does, he just keeps dying in some weird, like, convoluted way. And I was like, okay... Fair enough. And then Giorno becomes like the mafiosa boss. Yeah. Um, him and who's left? Ma track. Mista. Is it Mista? Who's the one with the gun? Um, I, I just remember his stand is called Sex Pistol. Six, six, no, Six Bullets. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. It's Sex okay. Pistol. But okay, then. <laughs> six Bullets is quite a cool stand name. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. It's ah, like it's, it's one of the better snake ones. Snake actually sounds like quite cool. Ah, but it's obviously meant to be white snake. Ah, um, you yeah. finished already? Jesus, wet. It's because I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Look at the mobile that I'm driving. Man, it's a piece of shit. How have you won it in that? It's got, it's got speakers and all sorts. It's a pure pimp mobile. It's awesome. Um, so, I mean, just right from the get-go, Golden Wind is quite a cool stand. Being mm. able to turn things into things. Yeah. You know, inanimate objects, like, if you're like, turns a brick into a snake and kills a dude with it, it's just it's fucking, Jojo kind of at its best. I quite like Zipper Man as well. Well, that's, that's, um, Butcherati's. Yeah. And like I say, Butcherati in many ways, I think, does most of the fights and, um, he, it kind of becomes his mission to save, I want to say Trish, Diablo's daughter. You know, he takes her up to oh, yeah, do Diablo, I, and... And he's he's kind of the combined healer, you know. In, in many ways, like Giorno is like the white mage, 
Yeah. But he gets killed off quite a few times. I tell you, fuck it, it's Mister. I'm sure it is Mister. Who's the guy with the gun? He is my favourite character. I think he's fucking immense. I remember when he was chasing the guy, he like, he had to click on top of the van, was it? How did that, how did that play out? When um, they get to the island after they've been on the boat. Aye, uh, so it's like he's glued, he basically is glued to things. I, yes. I, I, I yeah, can't yeah, even yeah. remember. And he's, he's like glued to the side of the sort of like car to get away and crap. Aye, uh, well he shoots him in the mouth. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so he's, weird. He still manages <laughs> to catch the bullet, but then he shoots the bullet where his first bullet was in the guy's head. And that's, yes. that's how he, that's how he ultimately takes him down, because yes. it's like, you can only stop stuff that touches you. You can't stop the tough stuff touching like, you that's touching you already there. Aye. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he was a shite stand the guy he was up against. Yeah. Um... And Mista does a lot of the fights. And in many ways, Mista's who kind of set a lot of it in action. Because right at the start, it does like a... Almost like a um, a prologue episode at the end where it shows you Mista go to hunt down this rando who's got like um, a stand with the power to create like stone carvings okay. of the future. Oh, I fucking missed them. And um, the, he's like... The guy explains to him, well, whatever the stone carving is, is someone who's going to die. Mm-hmm. And he's like, so if it's made a stone carving of your friend, but you're at it, it's like he's dead. You have to accept it. Um, but he sort of interferes, mm-hmm. destroys the statue, and instead of Butcherati, it becomes the three others who end up dying. All right. As well as Butcherati. So because he's interfered, he actually killed more of his own oh, kind of friends. Than he was trying to save. Uh, it's like if you just let the stone do its work, it would have killed Butcherati there and then. And I suppose if Butcherati hadn't been there, he wouldn't have said, "Right, we're going with, we're going with a plan to take down Diavolo." You know, Giorno would probably have done whatever he needed to do, um, but I wouldn't necessarily have involved everyone else. So it's it's cool. Like I say it's it's a really good series. Um, I, I thought Diavolo was just like a kind of discount deal. His, mm. his stand erases time. Yeah, so does that make it so that, like, things never happened or something? Yeah, aye, uh, uh, so he cuts out the period of time. So, like, he could cut out two seconds and you'd be like, what the f-? You'd be like, what, what just happened? And in that time, he's either closed the distance to, like, punch sort of or murder punch you, yeah. Or, like, if you were, like, midway through doing something, he could... Um, I ah, kind of stop you doing it, or he'd be in a totally different location, um, and and that's how he's kind of been sort of unbeatable. Is anybody when range he just wipes out like two seconds, three seconds? Yeah, c- punches the shit out of you during that time, and then you you just pretty much like wake up. Wake up dead. Aye. How can you wake up dead? You can't go to bed dead, fool. Oh, I was going to say something, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, um, do you know who Matthew Mercer is? Ah, he does the voice of um, Jotaro, does he not? Yeah, he's, uh, he's Ganon. He's Ganon. Ah, I heard you hear about that. Oh, for fuck's sake. That was some bullshit-ass shit. I had a music box as well. People are getting all thirsty about it as well. What do you mean? I thought the women were getting thirsty because oh, it's I didn't, I didn't sexy-ass didn't voice. Be. Uh, I, because I, I, I've not. Ganondorf's pure got his shirt off and he's wearing like you know he's got pure modern day tattoos and shit. Eyes, yeah. He's he's got pure sleeve and he's. His mad Gerudo robes like. He just wears his shirt open. um, Cuts at the front. I, I've mostly avoided. I don't use social media that much anyway, but I've avoided it since that game came out because of potential spoilers. People are such creeps though, because they're like. You can build shit in it. Right. Um, and they're just like being freaks with the poor wee Koroks, you know, the poor little Kokiri <laughs> people, like crucifying them and crap like that. Aww, that's mean. <laughs> just being pure freaks with them, and I'm like, why? Yeah, like, there's some quite funny videos I've seen where it's like, uh, it's like, um, what's that song that's in every Vietnam movie ever? 
at Fortunate Son or something like that. Uh, somewhere. Um, ah, we were like, uh, you, you, another you, one. You mean yeah? You can tow stuff behind you on your horse. Okay. So they've got like a bokoblin trapped in like a cell, and they're just towing him like, and they, you know, like he's a prisoner and shit. Just weird stuff like that. Why don't you play that? Because I'm sure people would like to see that game. Uh, but is, is it like, where does all the time go in playing the exploring, game? Exploring really. Is ah, uh, is it? Sort it's, of, um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it's open world. It's got temples and crap like a Zelda game, but yeah, so like it's open world and you sort of you go, you find like these shrine things, and they are like tiny little temples in their own. You kind of go in and it's like a a, a few rooms, see, sort of puzzles that you solve. That's kind of like I'm playing Fallout Four just now. I'd say it's a bit more like that then, well, that especially if you craft. You you sort of craft. You um you can fuse crap onto your weapons. Uh huh. Well, but it's fun. It's good because they, they actually set up. They actually give you a reason. So, because I mean, by the end of the first game, the majority of folk are running about with like a bunch of weapons and like really good ones and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like something's happened that weapons are sort of basically decaying. Okay. So like the weapons that everybody had are like crap now. So no. you're sort of back to like really basic weak ones. So that's kind of like why you need to fuse stuff together to make them good. So that actually kind of makes sense in the story as well. But um, that's fun. You can get a bit creative. And you can make you can make stuff that is effective, or you can make stuff that's sort of stupid. Like you can attach cannons to like tree branches. Uh. So the tree branch itself, if you hit them with the tree branch, it does like basically no damage. But if you swing it, swing it, it shoots like a cannon and hits them and does quite a lot. You know things like that. You can uh, you can have some fun with it. How am I in fourth? I, I, I think I, we, we, we diverted slightly I mean Jotaro is in uh, oh yeah yeah sorry because I was like right from, oh, I don't yeah. know it, it, it does connect um, Jotaro is in it at the start he's sort of investigating Giorno because he's suspicious that he's Dio's son yeah and he might be a badgin but um, whatchamacallit uh, mad sort of young kid from um, oh what's he called Fuck. Get fucking over the finish line, yes. No! I'm a red shell, bro. Explode it as much as you want. Aye, uh, he kinda is there. Oh, I came second, quite comfortably. Aye, uh, uh, he investigates him and he's like, ah, he's alright, and then he just fucking <laughs> goes off and kills a ton of people. Um, But no, I'd, I'd probably say it's. I, it's not. I prefer Stardust Crusaders. It's yeah. still kinda my favourite. But it's probably my second favourite. Oh really? And then Stone Ocean, and then um, the one with Joski. No. Uh, uh, is it Joski? The one where they're in. The yes, uh, the one with Joski. Yes, yeah. sorry. Because just the stakes aren't really high in it. Yeah, true, but I I kind of like that in a way. It's got its own little self-containedness to it. I just liked all the characters. I do like um, Killer Queen. Oh, you mean Deadly? No, because uh, in the in the, the sub it's like Killer Queen, but then the title comes up as Deadly Queen. And ah, that's Deadly not Queen. Easy. Whatever. Aye. Um, I do like Deadly Queen as a kind of stand. We close range explosive. Yeah. I think one of its other versions is called Sheer Heart Attack, which is another Queen song. Yes. But uh, they, I think they get away with keeping it as that. They just call it heart attack. Oh, do they? Yeah. Right, well, yeah. And that's how they get around that one. No. But no, it's definitely worth a watch. I'd, if you haven't finished it, finish it. And uh, well, if you haven't seen it, then check it out. Using your NordVPN, sponsoring this video.